Welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Cross. This is 480 Volts. Um, we're here in Chronopolis. I decided to uh, take the Dreamer Scarf off of Grobic and give him the Forget Me Not Pot. We'll fight some interesting enemies here. Might as well try to, uh, what you call, um, oh, what is it? Um, get them into our list of doppelgangs. Um, and I'll put a couple of gravity blows on everybody. We'll see if we can get, um, we'll see if we can get a, a good, um, I did equip the Grim Reaper. Yeah, I equipped the Grim Reaper. We may occasionally use Grim Reaper just to do that. All right, so first we want to head down here. And yes, I got the music up because I love this music. We want to head down here and we want to go... What's this? I think most of the enemies you run into are going to be white elemental. All right, let's turn that down. I think most of the enemies you run into are white element. Oh, no, these are all... These are all blue. Well, that one's white. Oh well. Uh, I suppose there's no there's no problem. Uh, seeing if we can get the um, Grim Reaper summon. Why not? I may want to consider putting all all opposite colored plates on everybody. Well, seems like all we're gonna find is we're probably not gonna find any black elements. So. Probably don't need that for Serge, but uh, might be a good idea to have a couple, have a red plate for um, Fargo there. Let's defend again. Have Serge hit once. Ah, he killed him. Well, nah, I'm not gonna waste it. I was gonna show off. Um, oh wow. I was going to show off the um, Mothership Summon, but I won't waste it. I'll save it for another time. A little ticked off that everybody keeps missing here. Here, I know what I'll have uh, Robic do. Have him use uh, Hair Cutter. That hits everybody. Yeah, don't make fun of his hair. He'll shoot laser beams out of it. I don't know. I know there's like a formation of like four white robots you can fight. So, oh, we got a meteor shower. That's kind of useless. Serge's new sword, the Master Mune, and the sunglasses make him a beast. I'm just saying. And we got the yellow brooch, which protects us from yellow status ailments. Also, you get a lot of denot right from these enemies. What else? What else? What else? Okay, hang on a second. Um, okay, we want to go into this room. Alright, we go... Um... Uh, Open this thing up, and we get a Nostrum. And, no, I don't want to go down just yet, or do I? Yeah, I do. I do want to go down. Oh, yeah, and just warning you, I don't know if it'll be this video or coming videos. This whole area, as amazing as it is, well, this is where the game really fails at storytelling. Because <laughs> they dump a whole bunch of plot on us and stuff like that. Okay, so as you can see here, there's not a whole lot we can go. Well, I can hit that switch and do that, but there's still not a whole lot I can go... Well, there's another switch over there, which presumably would make a bridge form here, but how do I get there without the bridge? And I can't go over here because there's some sort of railing blocking me. Well, if you examine this control panel... panel Robo Sewer Wash. Operate the robot? Sure. Press the triangle button to quit. We are now controlling this little robot thingy. Okay, seems simple enough. And yeah, if you press the triangle button, he aborts. Hey, look at that. I didn't know I could do that. Anyway, once you go down in here, now he's really light. Okay. If you fall off the uh, ledge there in the water, you, you lose. And you have to restart again. You have unlimited tries. You don't get penalized. But once you're in the water, 
Uh, the current's kind of pushing you a certain way, so you know you can step on this dry platform to get your bearings. Let's see. I want to go down here. I want to grab this chest, which is a white brooch. That's excellent. Then I want to go, I think, here. Yeah. So just kind of don't let yourself fall off. A cure-all. Excellent. That little humming noise it's making. My cat is sleeping on my dresser. And then, which is like right next to my computer. And I think she could hear the humming noise. She was like, what the heck? She looked, she gave me that look. Like, what the heck is that? All right, we make it over here. Press the uh, switch. Yay, now there's a bridge. And now I'm, we can quit. So just press the triangle button, quit. Head on over, across. Voila! All right, is there anything over here? I don't think so. All right, so all we can do is climb up this ladder. Oh. All right, let's see. I press the little red button, that opens that. Okay. Getting a lot of power seals from these things, too. All right, um, I guess I head down. Let's see. We want to... What, what is down here? Oh, that's just the area. Oh, okay. I see. Okay, we want to go north. I don't think there's anything... Yeah. Ah, now we got some new enemies. And, uh, and uh, yeah, so I'll show them all. These guys here, arrow guard, I thought they were white. And I thought there was more of them. Uh, I don't feel like wasting any summons on these guys. Oh, come on. Boy, what's really awesome about Serge's dash and slash is, even though it's an old tech, sunglasses and Master Lune make it so powerful, so. Yeah, that's cool. Alright, you finish him off. I thought they were like white robots that I could fight. Anyway, I need to have Grobit kill more enemies because he's wearing the Forget Me Not pot, you see. I keep having Sayers do it. Alright, let's just keep on going. Alright, let's see here. It's quite a few things we can get, I think. Let's go into this room. Alright. No, I want to save that for later, I think. Let's go up here. Uh, there's nothing around here. May have to I may have to look at my uh, facts here. Well, I'll, I'll go here, because I think you can get a little bit of interesting dialogue here. Okay, so there's uh, a dock system. Oh, and a record of fate. That's nice. So we, there's uh, presumably a place where they dock boats. Remember this place. Hey, let's talk to this kn knucklehead here. Perhaps what we are doing is wrong. If this experiment succeeds, we will be able to control time. We will have complete control over history and, in a sense, become a presence much like God. If so, what meaning is there to the history of mankind? But it's too late now. We can't afford to fail this experiment. If, for some reason, anything goes wrong, the anti-annihilation anti energy will probably overwhelm us. Who knows what the consequences may be? So, in the future, these guys are on the verge of creating, or of, they're on the verge of doing some massive experiment. And they're wondering, and, and if they succeed, they could control time. Now, what does this thing do? Security level 2 lock. Please release the lock. Okay, so we can't mess with that. I thought there was... Okay, so I guess the only way to progress is to go in here. Excellent. Let's just take care of this guy right here.
Well, we got three enemies here. Uh, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try for the Mothership Summon. So first, I gotta get Grobic's Element Power all the way up. I think that thing is starting to sag, so uh, let's not attack it anymore. Let's hit this one. He needs one more. Yeah, he needs one more. Let's have Serge attack that one. Uh, I'll bet you the gravity blow. Well, I, I, I know what I can do. I could try to have Fargo cure some of these things. Here we'll have Grobic attack that one again. Right, oh crap, they're all sagging. I'll bet you these gravity blows I got end up killing everything. Uh, let's see. Let's use a gravity blow on that thing. Maybe this won't kill him. Okay, that thing is sagging. Let's have Fargo use a gravity blow on that thing. Oh, I hope we don't get interrupted during this whole time, too. Alright. And use your last gravity blow right there. Is that thing already sagging? Uh, this might kill it. You know what, I don't care anymore. If it kills it, and nobody interrupts me, I'm doing the summon. Okay, nobody interrupt me. Let's do it. Grim Reaper! This will most assuredly kill them. Yeah, that's spooky. At some point, I will use Saints on them. I will not demonstrate it because you've already seen it. But I will at least use it. So I can get, um, you know, the shiny materials from Saints. And I may just, I may quit using summons for now because I'm using a lot of star levels. And we got shiny soots. Alright. Uh, well, let's go over here and get this chest. Another forget-me-not pot, so if you didn't steal one from uh, Pepor, you could get one here. So I could actually equip it on somebody else, too. That would be cool. Alright, let's just keep going up the stairs. Yeah, you can see here, level 2. Can I actually go into this door? Yes, I can, but do I want to? I may not want to go into this door just yet. Oh yeah, there's lasers blocking it. Oh, okay. Well... Yeah, so this is all right. Um, this is what we want to do. Uh, okay, let's see. I think I want to remove... Um, well, no, I guess... Well, yeah, let, let me take a look at Grobeck. I, I may want to remove some elements from him. I want to remove... Well, I don't really need, need to remove it. I just need to put it over here. Though, to be honest, I probably won't be using free falls. Let's see. Security level 2 lock. Please release the lock. Oh, I can't do anything with that. Well, if I go down here, what happens? Or enemies. Alright, let's just keep on going. I think that's all the enemies. Alright, now let's see. Does this door open? Or do I need to go through the elevator? Uh... Yeah, I, I guess the elevator's locked, so we can't mess with it. Alright, well, here's a map of, uh... Looks like the El Nido uh, continent. All right, let's uh, let's talk to some peoples, or whatever these things are. Originally, El Nido was nothing but ocean. Uh, I see that. Well, I still see Gaia's Nivelle in the Dead Sea, but okay, or the Sea of Eden. The El Nido ar Archipelago is purely artificial, created by fate. Artificial? And fate created it. Okay, you gotta give me something better than that, because, uh, I, 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 I still don't believe in fate, so, and I don't think 
fate could cause a continent to be built. Even if it did, that would still be natural. That's not art. That's not artificial. You make it sound like it was done by some machine. It was a remodeling plan that took place 10,000 years ago. Oh. Oh, okay. Now, I'm not sure if they mean 10,000 years from this timeline or 10,000 years from our time. No, it's 10,000 years from the future. Yeah, 10,000 years ago from the future. A plan to include islands blessed with nature in the Sea of El Nido. The main island of El Nido, Earth Dragon Isle, Water Dragon Isle, Black Dragon Isle, the development of elements using the energy of the natural world, the distribution of memory terminal records called the Records of Fate that could survey and guide people's lives. Yes, they incorporate the Records of Fate into the story, the save points. But he called them computer terminals. The research center staff who had their memories of the future erased left the center and begin a life outside amidst nature. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. If this thing was created 10,000 years ago, there was no Chronop... Or, or was there a Chronopolis? Maybe Chronopolis was just a really advanced city back then, but apparently research center staff got their memories erased and they went to go live on El Nido. So that means all of our characters and everybody we've met in El Nido are descendants of the research center staff, minus... Uh, all my characters that came from the Zenin mainland. This is how Fate's Paradise came into existence. And for over 10,000 years, Fate has been watching over and guiding the descendants of the staff who left this research center. Oh yeah? Everything was in perfect harmony. That is until 14 years ago when a boy came into contact with the flame of the Night of the Storm. There's that storm again. And I'm guessing I'm the boy. You say anything else? Okay. That's all he says. You can probably figure out what's going on, but we'll... We'll, um... We'll let some more people explain it. Let's see. Can I examine any of these terminals? Security level 2. Locked. Releasing lock. Okay. You talked to this guy. Where was the lock release for the elevator again? My mind's been blanking out lately. Well, I, I found it for you, so now I can use the elevator. Sure, let's keep going for a little bit more. I want, I want to get a, a bit more of a bigger picture on what's going on here before I end off the video. This is crazy. So now that we got the... Um, uh, let, let's see. Okay, so I don't want to mess with the elevator just yet. I want to go back to the room that had the lasers. That room right there. Now that I've opened the level 2 lock, let's go in here. Let's see. Now, I think... I think the way this works... I'm gonna save. So you have an open, like, safe here, and then a bunch of closed ones. I think when you open them... Yeah, you, see, so you can examine them and open them. And, or you can close them. We basically just want to close them all. Let's close them all. And then open this, right? And if you have Grobic in your party, this cannot be. This is the ancient super weapon that was in development in Poor. But what is it doing here? It looks complete. And we got Grobic's final tech, strong arm. Excellent. Let's see. Let's. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Strong arm. So let's put that on. Now let's see. I want to make sure they're all closed all up. Yeah, they're all closed up. Okay, now examine this thing. Enter the lock release code. Well, the writer of this fact says um, they were pressing X too fast, uh, skipping through the text, and they accidentally put... They accidentally x through this part real quickly, and they didn't enter a code, they left it at zero, zero. Well, it turns out that's actually your code. Anyway, we found a recharge, excellent. All right, I don't think, and I think for that to work, all these things have to be closed. Uh, okay, recharge lets you recharge an element that you've already used, okay. Now we want to, we want to go back to the elevator because now I think if we were to go back through those stairs, we'd come up to the third floor door and that will not open. But I think we can use the elevator now to go to the third floor. Yeah, let's go to the third floor. Right? 
I think at this point, all right, let me take care of these enemies. Yeah, I'll just take care of them all off screen. Okay, let me tell you about Sairs. A, a fierce attack with the Master Mune will just about kill anything it hits, if it doesn't. Dash and Slash will kill anything with one shot, and his highest Ultra Nova will kill everything on screen. So, yeah, Serge is just, just at this point, he's amazing. And the Master Mune does that much because of the uh, sunglasses, too. Alright, so, um, let's see. I, I will quickly um, sacrifice a Dreamer Scarf and give him a Forget Me Not Pot, since I got two of them. And he'll probably just wear that for the remainder of the game. Might as well. Uh, let's see. Uh, where's the. Let's see, let's go up in here. Alright, first let's enter this room. We got a new enemy blocking a chest. This is kind of why I put uh, the Forget Me Not Pot on Serge. I'd like Serge or Grobic to kill this thing. I don't know if it's the really great double game, but we might as well. And it is called... If the thing will ever let me see what it is, because it keeps hitting me. Oh, would you stop already? It's a combat. Okay. It's red elemental. I don't know if it's that great. Thing's not already set. Ultra Nova would surely kill it. Okay, thing's still alive. Oh, uh oh. For a second, how did he lose HP? For a second, there, um. Oh, he gained HP. How did he gain HP? I don't know. That's weird. Alright, let's have uh, Grobic finish the job. Maybe we'll show off his tech. Maybe not. Uh, why is Sayers, like, gaining HP on me? That's interesting. He's capped out. I don't know how that happened. Uh, that works, but... Anyway, and here is a, uh, a Hellbound for all the good it is. Alright, um... Alright, well let's, um, what's all this? I see, like, holograms of brains. Model of brain evolution. Anything else? This is weird. Uh, that probably, that's model of lower animal brain. Model of brain behavior. And what is this one? This one doesn't say. Oh, model of brain analysis. Why are these guys studying brains? Well, let's talk to them. Memory scanning and... Rewriting is not that difficult a thing. As a matter of fact, it is possible to simulate the thoughts and feelings of each individual. These are just electric signals that flow around the circuitry of the brain, after all. The vessels of flesh can be reproduced through cloning, and the soul stored within these fleshly vessels, fleshy vessels can be simulated as well. Thus, one could even go so far as to say that death itself no longer exists. Of course, the expiration of an individual being as a variation within the species still occurs. Overall, we can't reverse the old maxim and say that there is no death where will be life, where there will be life. We can control human emotions by using neurotransmitters. That means by manipulating the nerve transmitter inside their brains, it is possible to control the feelings and even the personalities of humans. Fate uses the records of fate to connect directly to the brains of the humans with whom they come into contact. Fate not only imprints its actions the humans should take into their brains, but also rewrites the personalities and feelings. You say? What do you say? Talk. The life forms on this planet develop from single cell microorganisms to protozoans, then from fish to amphibians, from reptiles to mammals, and eventually to humans. Beginning with the cerebral neocortex, which only exists in higher mammals, the, anthro the anthropod brain enlarged at an accelerated pace until it became the human brain we know. Could the reason for the abnormal development of the brain be the biological contamination caused by Lavos? Lavos? It always comes back to Lavos. That would mean that humans are really a heterogeneous life form or foreign matter as far as the planet is concerned. Humans are a sudden mutation caused by the contact with Lavos. 
an alien life form that fell into this planet from space. That is why humans are, biologically speaking, unbalanced and have finished. Internationally inconsistent, or internally inconsistent and disconnected, the human existence is plagued by contradictions. An incomplete species torn between love and hatred, whose very being is self-contradictory. From the planet's viewpoint, humans are just destroyers and a cursed yet perhaps pathetic blight on the world. Okay, so this guy here is suggesting that Lavos pretty much caused humans to be what they are today. Okay. These two guys are the scary ones. They're talking about using neurotransmitters and all sorts of computer programming to basically control the human brain. And the records of fate that are all scattered around El Nido, each time, you know, people talk about using the records of fate to, t to tell them what to do next. Well, each time they use a record of fate, these guys write commands directly onto humans' brains. So these guys are controlling humans. We must have not been using records of fate very much because, uh, well, I don't think they would want us here. I'm guessing they would control us to not come here. All right, yeah, you you starting to put together what's really going on here. Let's take the elevator to the. Oh wait, no, I don't want to. I don't want to do that. I want to go. I want to go into this room. Is this the last room I want to go into before I end off for today? It may be. Let's examine. One of these computer terminals will tell us something. DNA, the seeds of life. The human body is made up of 50 to 60 billion cells. Each of these cells contains genes in the form of DNA. These are the fundamental building blocks that exist inside the cell's chromosomes. They store genetic information that can be passed on from parent to child. The structure of DNA is common throughout all life, throughout all universes. Through DNA recombination, life forms take on differing forms with vari variable abilities. Okay. Humans and reptites. 65 million years ago, the reptites who evolved from reptiles had developed their own unique civilization. This was long before the ancestors of humans who had evolved from primates had developed their civilization. Excavations carried out on the central continent of Zenon have revealed that the reptites already had advanced architectural skills in the prehistoric era. We kind of saw a glimpse of that in Chrono Trigger. But the fall of Lavos to the planet and the resulting ice age this brought about rang the death knell for the reptites and their civilization. After that, reptites slowly disappeared from the stage of history. However, in the distant past, humans could have been defeated in the contest of evolution and reptites could have continued to develop. It is not unthinkable that such a timeline could exist in other dimensions. Everything is purely a problem of possibilities and the world is only stabilized by the viewpoint of one who observes it. Didn't uh, the little ghost of Lucas say a problem of possibilities? All right, so this thing is suggesting that there's multiple different timelines, quantum timelines, you know, like the split world we come from. You know, there's we got one world and then there's another world. This thing is suggesting that there's multiple different worlds, right? And, um, which makes sense. And who knows, in one of these worlds, maybe the reptites did not die off. Maybe it was the humans that died off in one of these worlds. So theoretically, there's a, there's a timeline out there where the reptoid, reptites continue to exist and be the dominant species on Earth. There's schematics of Lavos. Hey, guy. The DNA records are poems and music. Ad adenine and thyme, get, okay, rhythm and melody. Perhaps the DNA of the ones who make contact with the flame is recomposed by the sound they generate within? I wonder if life forms are just dreaming an endless flow of music. I kind of remember that. I want to wait for this guy to leave because I think there's something we can do with this. Or not. I thought there was. Um, uh, Alright, let's see. If I go in... What does this thing say anything? If I go in here... Well, there's a, a rainbow shell. Okay, I guess there's nothing else in here. Alright, let's, let's now go to the fourth floor. Actually, as much as I hate to to quit the video now, I think I better because it's getting kind of long. We'll go to the fourth floor into the next video. Be warned, viewers. Once we go to the fourth floor, prepare to have your mind blown and have all sorts of plot dumped on you.
I'm 480 Volts.